Hello everyone, how are you today? Of course, I do hope you're now in safe place with full of love and excitement for this next topic that we'll be discussing. So ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to all our audience this time, our viewers, especially to our um, ano ito, mga sudyante ng ating grade. Okay, grade. Nung grade tayo, we have grade 10 and your subject now is? All right, so English 10. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to our E2Live program of the Department of Education. A online tutorial for EdTech unit. We are now live in our EdTech unit. Uh, we have DepEd Tayo. We have also DepEd EdTech unit for DepEd TV. Okay, so this time I'll be presenting to you. Yes, these are our tutors no? for English 10, Tuesday 3. 40 to 4 20 p.m. So live na live po tayo all over the globe, especially in our country, Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, but uh, before that, I would like to introduce, okay, again, myself. Okay, I'm your sub teacher for this English 10 since Chiro Judai and Chiro Rem are not around this time, no, because of the, the circumstances, no. Um, happened. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, students, uh, parents, teachers, thank you so much po for viewing this time. I'm your tutor Jess from SDO Tagum City. Hello, everyone. Um, kinukumusta ko lang yung ating uh, Region 11, no? uh, Regional Director Dr. Alan G. Farnazo, and we have also our Tagum City Division. Uh, schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Josephine Elfadua. And we have our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Melanie P. Estacio. And to all our PSDSS and uh, CID Chief, uh, to our teachers, our Division Personnel, mabuhay po tayong lahat from Tagum City Division. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. So I do hope you will have the motivation no, to have this uh, another uh, excitement for learning. All right, so welcome to our e 2 okay, a program. Uh, we have the team no, from Division of Lapu-Lapu City. So thank you, thank you so much. And congratulations, everyone, for having this time because andito na tayo sa second quarter ng ating English 10. Okay, so thank you so much. So, hashtag Itulai Level Up and hashtag Itulai English 10. So, more will be reached as well as we teach you for better education. So, ladies and gentlemen, to our dearest uh, students and learners there, no? So as what we are always no, uh, aiming for the best education for you. So this time we have wonder as you wonder. All right. So students, to those who are, okay, who viewed this time, thank you so much. Then we have the live audience. Okay. So we have from... Watching from Carina National High School, Carina District 10, Hermes. We have Janeline G. Esperitu. And we have also Jerian. Ito. Okay. Jerian Lasam Kalaman, Kalamanan. And we have also Janeline G. Esperitu. Ah, yes. We have also Ruella Aaron Dayag. Hello. Thank you so much for viewing this time. And to all other students and learners na active po ngayong uh, araw na ito at this moment. Okay, so we are now still in quarter two. These are our learning spots. Then uh, I know that we are already done with our, we have already done with these uh, topics, no? And we are now uh, in the topic 
multimodal and its elements. Okay, but before that, let's have a recap no, for our lesson last time. So, by the way, we still have the three challenge passes. Then after this three challenge passes, we will get 15 tokens. Okay, aside from the token for English 10, learning adventure, and for us for challenge passer. Okay, so students, we have a okay, multi-model and it and its elements. We're now in quarter two, week seven. So we would like to thank the following writers for this module. Okay, coming from DepEd Car, and we have also DepEd LLC. Thank you, thank you so much. And for review, we still have these questions. No, so the questions here we have. Okay, a kind of question that you are very related to it. These are our rhetorical questions, okay? So rhetorical questions, by the way, so as a review, these are questions that do not necessarily require an answer from the listener or audience, okay? So they are used to emphasize points and main ideas in a speech or conversation, right? So we discussed already about this rhetorical, about these rhetorical questions, okay? So they help make the speakers resonate, but they prompt the audience to reflect further on an idea. So that would be our okay, review for this time. Okay, so the question is, sir, how to use rhetorical questions in a speech? So since we're now in English 10 and you are now learning and relearning about this topic, how to use rhetorical questions in a speech? So for review or recall, we have this number one, personalize your questions. Number two, persuade the audience. Number three, emphasize a statement. Number okay, that would be number three. And for number four, consecutive rhetorical questions are given. Number one is okay, what's the benefits or the ano ito? Uh, maka bigay sa atin ng beneficio or ano ito? Positive out, so outcomes. We have this increases the impact of your argument. It shows conflicting of opinions, yes, and it shows supporting opinions to us, okay? So that would be for rhetorical questions in a speech. Okay, so madali lang, no? So makikita natin yung mga conflicting opinions on how to be, ano ito, more engaging, okay? To so this kind of, you know, uh, using this topic on how to use no, this rhetorical questions. Now, as what I have said, we, we have three challenges for you to pass and overcome this time. So you will get uh, an ito, uh, badges and you will have your five tokens. Okay, aside from the badges. Hi, hello everyone. Okay, we have more viewers, not this time because it's time for English 10. I do hope no, you are more motivated and ano ito, inspired no, to go over and to have this kind of tutorial for online tutorial no, English 10. All right. So this, this is now our challenge one. And I do hope you are now ready, class. Okay, so let's start now. Okay, this is what we call Guess It Right, all right? So, the name of this challenge is Guess It Right, okay? So, are you not ready, class? So, I do hope you will be participating with me and you are more engaging, okay, to this kind of activity, okay? So please follow after me as I read now the directions. Then what you're going to do is to respond to this kind of activity, okay? So are we now excited? All right, so I'll be reading to you the directions. Guess the proper meaning or the correct interpretation of the given emojis. Again, guess the proper meaning or the correct interpretation of the, the given emojis. All right. So for number one, we have this 
uh, drawing or pictures, okay? So as what you have seen on the monitor, we have what you call this kind of animal. And we have also an organ. Organ ba ito or shape? Okay, so the combination of this, okay. All right, so now there you go. Meron na mga answers. Answer by Philip Ray Mancera. Ayan, puppy love. Ayan. So marami talaga nanonood ngayon. So I do hope marami kayo makukuha sa ating tutorial this time as you go along with our topic. And uh, I know you can do it as Best as she can, all right. So, with the assistance of your parents, your teachers, no. So, thank you, thank you so much. Ah, dog lover, <laughs> oh my god, and we have also puppy lover, okay. <laughs> all right, so out from the symbols, out from the emblem, so out from this, you will have the interpretation of this, no, or what is your analysis, or what can you say about it. All right, so we still have okay uh, answers this time two words only. So, all right, so there you go. The answer would be I will reveal it now. All right, class, the answer would be puppy love. All right, thank you, thank you so much for answering. All right, so there, there, okay, there are people who are uh, okay answering puppy lover puppy love we have dog lover all right dog lover okay but the nearest no the nearest point or the nearest answer or the best answer for this is puppy love all right congratulations to all who got it right thank you thank you so much. hi good day i'm michael rain campus watching from karina national high school karina district grade 10 athena hi how are you my Karin? all right thank you so much there you go you will have your token okay try to guess number two Guess the proper meaning or the correct interpretation of the given emojis. You will have three seconds. Go! Okay, so go lang and go! Hi, Chiror! Chiror, Jessica Borromeo! How are you, Chiror, Jessica? Okay, and then, dami natin mga tutors. Many iba mga tutors, no, are watching right now. So, ayan, bisitahin din natin sila. Manood din tayo sa kanilang live tutorial na tutor Jessica and all the other subjects for Italy online tutorial. Ayan, meron mga sumasagot na bookworm. Ayan, hello Stephanie, how are you? Good afternoon. Okay, we have also, all oh, right, and now with the audience this time. So, thank you so much. No, most of you got it right because the answer is bookworm. Yay! So, I know you are familiar with this kind no, of the anito, a uh, application, and we are so anito, uh, we're good no, in this kind of. Ano ito? Uh, the engagement and how to do it. And you have this uh, good interpretation and getting the, men, the meaning of the emblem are the symbols or signs of this. All right, shall we proceed now? But before that, I will give you now our token. Okay, so number three, guess this proper meaning or the correct interpretation of the given emojis. There you go, three seconds. Hi, good afternoon. Watching from Korean National High School. Marami tayong mga taga Kirino ngayon. All right. Uh, saan banda ba itong Kirino? Okay, a place. <laughs> okay, rainy day. What else? <laughs> rain. Oh my God. Meron tayong rain sun. All right. Meron tayong rainy, rainy day. All right. Meron tayong rainy day. That's a real interpretation. Okay, what else? Okay. Okay, there would be... Um, uh, okay, sige. So, tingnan natin yung asa ang pinaka-nearest, no? Ni answer. So, you have your good idea. You have your... Okay, so thank you so much. Nakakatawa. And nakakatawa ng puso. You are replying with me, the interaction. Ayan, marami talaga sumasagot ngayon. And of course, no? So, your three seconds up now. And there you go. What we what is the answer now for this uh, item? This is rain or shine. 
<laughs> this is rain or shine. Okay, but your answer is rainy day. Mm, rainy day. It could also be rainy day. Okay. Sige. What else? Oh, rain or shine according to princess. Yes. <laughs> rain or shine. So interpretation for the object number one, it's raining, right? And for interpretation for the object number two, that is sun. So for the interpretation, that would be shine or somewhat like no the combination or rain or shine. So that would be no our ano ito? Uh, ano itong sa ating expressions? Okay, rain or shine, right? Weather, according to Anthony. <laughs> yes. Number four. Tingnan nga natin ito. Number four, uh, this would be a phrase. Okay. So you have three seconds to answer this one. The first object is what he is uh, he's doing. And number two is... What is doing? And the right, the last, uh, the last uh, figure, the last picture here is what? What kind of object? Then you, ano ito? Uh, isahin, no? Yung ating interpretation. Okay, you have three seconds. There you go. Time. All right. So, meron na magsumasagot ngayon. Walk the talk. All right, yeah. Walk the talk. Okay. How about this object number three? Okay. Kung if di ah uh, di natin isali itong number three na ano ito na object picture. So it's walk the talk. Ano ba? Okay. So mean to say, sige daw. Ah, uh, ano ba ang other interpretation or ano ba pwede nating i sige? All right. Na related to it. Okay. Walk her. <laughs> Walk her mind, walk the talk. Okay, tignan natin ha kung meron na nakakuha. Alright, so there you go. Okay, yeah, I walk to remember. Alright, walk the talk. Natatawa talaga. Alright, sige. So you have your interpretation. So, ang galing naman. At least, no, uh, you've shown to me how good you are no in doing the analysis in doing the interpretation yes ayan i walk to remember <laughs> i walk to remember watching from santa ana lucia national high school all right <laughs> walk and think according to hexel all right so that is walk to remember okay a walk to remember diba oh may movie kaya ito no diba <laughs> a walk to remember all right, you'll have your badge. Those answer it. <laughs> Natatawa si Chiro Jessica. Yes, I want to remember. Dapat pala, Monday more. <laughs> Natatawa ako. All right, sige. So, let's proceed now. <laughs> what about number five? Guess the proper meaning or the correct interpretation of the given emojis. Okay, look at the figure or photo number one, number two, and number three. And what is the interpretation or the symbolism or meaning of this? There you go for three seconds. Go! Go, go, lang, lang go. Ta -ta. Hi, good afternoon for watching you from Korean National. Hello, Kyla Jane Julian. Tuliao, mabuhay ka. And we have also Ria, Ria Mariel Fernandez. Hello, Ria. Thank you, thank you so much. Hi, MJ Sapanta. Hello. Now, what is your answer for this? <laughs> Okay, sunblock. <laughs> What's the picture number one? <laughs> Alert to. Tutingnan na natin what is the answer of this. Okay, sino pa ang sasagot dyan? Take it to Jessica. So, very... Okay. Supportive and cooperative tradition, Jessica. Okay, who else? We have also, may answer na ba? Sunshine time? <laughs> Sunshine time. Mm -hmm. Nakakatuwa naman mga answers ninyo. Okay? We have also other good ideas in there. Okay? Thank you so much no, for watching Flower Sun Alarm. <laughs> right? Uh, isa isa. Okay. Uh, flower Sun Alarm. <laughs> Sige. Sunset. Okay? Sun Sunshine Time. All right. Sige. Napakagaling naman. Okay. Alright. So, wala na ba? Wala mga hamon? <laughs> Sunny time according to <laughs> Kersia. Hello. Sunset. Sunset. Alarm clock. Yes. Nagkita ko nga, mayroon alarm clock. Meron ding sun. Meron ding flower. 
Okay? So, tingnan na natin what is the answer for this. Okay, this is summertime! <laughs> okay, meron pa nakakuha dyan. Sunset. Okay. <laughs> Sunset. Summertime. So, last na figure it would be time. And the interpretation of the, ano ito, the symbolism of a clock, that would be time. Okay? So, sunblock or sunset? <laughs> time din, di ba? <laughs> Pag sunset, wala na, no, na yung sun natin, yung palubog na ating sun. Okay? Ayan, sunset. Okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Leo. Uh, ano ito? Leo Ares. Thank you. All right. So, mabuhay po kayong lahat, students and tutors. <laughs> But yung mga tutors natin, sika parents, very, very supportive. Thank you so much. And there you go. You have, you will have your badge. And of course, aside from, ano ito? Yung ating major, major learning 10, learning adventure, the challenge puzzle. Congratulations, everyone. And way to go to get more of our Badges for English and Learning Adventure. And we have our tokens. Thank you, thank you so much. There you go. Then we shall now proceed to challenge number two. Two, two, two. Okay, are you now excited, students? Okay. I am also excited now. <laughs> okay, to continue with our challenge. Okay, we will name this game. Okay, we name this game Choose the Best. This is, we're going to choose the best. Okay. All right. So choose the letter of the best answer to a given question. All right. So what you're going to do is to select the correct answer out of the choices. Okay. After the question given. Now this time, let's have number one. Laget po natin ng number. After the number, we have the capital letter of the correct answer. What is the other term of Pictures or for pictures. A, illustrations. B, still images. C, Im images. Go! All right, three seconds. Three seconds lang naman. <laughs> okay, the correct answer for this, for pictures, the perfect and the best answer for this is letter B, still images. <laughs> Sige, sige, alright. We can also be, no, images also, okay? But uh, the nearest of this is the still images, okay? Could be B or C. And most of you have the word number, letter C. <laughs> thank you so much, Cleve Wilmer. Marin, hello. Okay, thank you. Alright, so that would be for our number one. How about for number two? Facial expression is an example of mood. What is this? A. Spatial. B. Gestural. C. Audio. Go! Ten, 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 ten. Three seconds. Woo! Go, go, go! All right. What is your answer according to John? John is letter B. According to Philip. It's letter B. What about according to Quincy? It's letter B. <laughs> okay, most of you. Okay, answered it letter B. Tingnan yan natin. <laughs> oh! <laughs> letter B. Okay, sige. So, but of course, no, you're, you, since you've answered letter B, it could also be letter B, no? Um, special, all right, sige. So, gestural, okay, or special, special, all right. So, most of you got it right now for this item. So, since we, it, we're talking about facial expression, okay, so you'll have your token, okay, okay. For number three, choose the letter of the best answer to a given question. Okay, lines, shapes, sizes, and symbols are resources of blank. A, digital multimodal texts. B, live multimodal texts. C, visual multimodal texts. There you go. What is your answer for this? Answer number three, all right? According to Philip Ray, letter C. Tignan natin. Visual multimodal texts. What about the others? Oh, si John Darrell. Lumahabol pa si John Darrell. 
All right. According to Mom Jessie, it's letter C. Mm. Tingnan na natin number three. Ayan. Leo Ares, letter C. Most of you, no? Answered letter C. Okay. Sige. So, consider ba natin ito? All right. Sige. Okay, the answer would be after three seconds. Let us see visual multimodal texts. All right, that would be letter C. Hindi naman siya live, di ba? And hindi rin po yung digital. So the nearest would be visual multimodal texts. So di ba kanina ah discuss atin is which is the best. So select natin the best. Meron ding po yung answer nearest to it. Di ba kalina, pwede natin makonsider din. Kasi na, namimili tayo ng the best. And for number three, the best would be visual multimodal text. Alright, so thank you so much. Ayan, nakuha talaga nila, no? Ang galing-galing naman ni Maria Janelle, Maria, uh, Mariel Medina, hi! And also Kyla, Ruel, Gracie, Louise, hello Angelica, and also we also have Juro Jessica. Okay, There you go. You'll have your okay batch. Then number four, emojis are considered as gestural and visual moods. Is it true or is it false? Go. Answer now. Go. Fight, fight, fight. Laban lang. Choose the letter. The best, the best, best answer to a given question. Wala talaga. Fifty, fifty talaga ito. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Okay. Is it true or is it false? Okay. According to Ara, yay! Hey! According naman kay, ah, ayan. Thank you, thank you so much. And then kay LJ Bido sa kanya. Alright. So most of you answered letter A. Wala talaga ibang sagot pa dito. Kasi pipilang tayo ng dalawa. Okay. So best answer talaga. We have its letter A. All right, letter A. So it would be considered as gestural and visual modes. Gaya na kanina sa ating question, di ba? Yung mga visual, visual ito, mga visual, ano ito sa mga modes, no? Na ginagamit. And also, yeah, it could be considered as gestural and visual modes. Okay, just like emojis ginagamit natin, di ba? Sa ating, sa ating, ano ito? Sa Facebook, sa pag-comments, and we have also sa ating Twitter, tsaka sa ating, sa Instagram ba meron? Okay, kadalasan no, sa Facebook na ginagamit yung emojis. And also sa ating mga chats and text, texting. There you go, you'll have your uh, badge for this. Number five, this is when two or more modes are used. Two or maramihan na, marami ng mga modes na gagamitin o ginagamit. Is it letter A, digital text? Is it letter B, multi-mall text? Is it letter C, modes? Or is it letter D, linguistic mode? There you go. Answer it now. More than two modes. Okay, tingnan natin kung makakuha kayo ng ating tamang sagot. Alright? So, John Albert, ako dito, John Albert, letter B. And we have Rainier De La Rosa. B, hi. Then, Quincy A, uh, Quincy A, uy. Okay, B, do sa kanya din. And we have also other, G-Well. Yes, mahabo si G-Well. I am Kenneth Santos from Santa Lucia National high school hello philippines and hello world okay so b so since it's more than one and two or more modes so no other answer for this and this would be multi-model text very good so yeah meron na tayo answer and there you go ladies and gentlemen to our dear students you will receive your badge Okay, another batch for English 10 Learning Adventure for Challenge Passer and this. And additional five tokens no, for passing the challenge number two. Very good, students. I'm very glad that you made it. You've made it. Okay? So, thank you. Thank you so much. Your Jess is very happy. Okay, three out of five. Mm, okay. Ayan. But there's still a row ng mga options na it could be a consideration because it would be a tricky question, no? 
Um, we have, ah, yes, three out of five, and four out of five, yan. And yes, you can review it no, into your modules, no, especially the part that we can consider, no, uh, uh, some items, no? Ayan, four out of five, ayan. So very good, no? So for passing the challenge, Challenge number two, you will receive your badge and five tokens. Hi. All right. I'm very happy. Now, this time, what have you seen on the monitor? Ano bang nakikita natin sa monitor? Okay. So, at your end, ano bang nababasa nyo dyan? Ay, very good. Sure, Jessica. Yes, very good, Karen. All right. <laughs> And all the other <laughs> pupils, students, okay. <laughs> this is for grade 10, right? No? And, mm, okay. There we have, no? Meron tayo mga audience dito, mga, uh, mga below grade 10, but still they're participating with us. And we have also senior high school, okay, as the review. Okay. All right. So thank you so much. Ano bang kikita natin sa ating monitor? Ano bang kadalasan nyo or anong una nyo nakita dyan? Tingnan natin sa mga responses ng ating mga viewers. Anong kadalasan nyo nakikita? Okay. Isang word lang. Go for representation. Ano nakita natin dyan? Ayan. Meron sumasagot na... Meron ba? Ayan, movies. Ano pa nakikita nyo? Very good, Philip. Ara, very good. Ala, movies talaga nakikita. <laughs> Mahilig siguro ito magsine. O kaya ay manood ng mga movies, ng mga local movies, tsaka itong ating international mga movies, di ba? So marami tayong mga bagong mga movies, especially sa Netflix. Alright! So, yan, mga videos, ayan, mga learning, uh, instructional videos, ayan, presentation, alright, and text messages, and so many things on the box. Marami tayong nakikita, di ba? Okay, so out from that, these are called multi-model. Okay? These are called multi-model. Okay? For the objectives, we shall define multi-model text, identify multi-model types and elements, compose text with multi-model elements, and evaluate importance of multi-model text in written and oral communication. Okay? That would be our objectives for okay, this topic. Now, communication is not only relying messages through voice and letters. It does not limit its purpose to written and verbal text. It also uses multimodal resources to state ideas and concepts better. Diba? So, a writer uses a variety of text to express a topic, right? So, the use of different modes of communication can help a writer convey his or her message better. Tama. Tama, diba? Okay, so, many texts are said to be multimodal. From the words, okay, multi, and we have the modes. This happens when meaning is communicated through combinations of two or more modes. Maraming mga modes, di ba? Kanina, pinakilala ko sa inyo. Based on questions, ay nag-answer kayo, di ba? Meron tayo multi-model text. And then, magaling kayo dyan. Ang galing yung pag-answer kanina. Now, for proper definition of multi-model texts, these are combination of two or more modes such as written language, spoken language, visual and still, and moving images. We have the audio, we have gestural, we have spatial modes, di ba? So, kagaya na kanina, so natingnan natin kung ano yung ating mga questions. And we've answered it right. Okay. They can be considered via different media or technologies such as live or printed or digital media. All right. So, yeah, the types of multimodal text we have printed, we have live, we have digital. Again, our types of multimodal texts we have printed, we have live, we have digital. Okay. For 
printed. These are pictures. These are textbooks. These are graphic novels. These are comics. These are posters. As what you have seen on your monitor, monitor these are examples of printed texts. Again, huh? these are examples of printed text. Next would be the other type of multimodal text is the live. Okay, from the word itself, live. So this would be a dance, in or an oral storytelling, or performances. Di ba sa school or pinapagawa tayo ni teacher ng pag-blogging, ano pito pag speaking in front of the audience. That would be performances. It would be considered a multimodal text. And this is under live. And we have the last is digital. This includes film, animation, the slideshows, the e-posters, the digital stories, and web pages. So these are our examples of our multi-modal text under digital. Okay. So digital ito ha? So wag kalimutan. So ma-identify lang natin yung digital, ma-identify natin yung live, ma-identify natin yung ano ito? Printed. Okay? So yan lang. Alright. So a picture book where textual and visual elements are arranged on individual pages compounded to make a hardbound material. Okay, so that's it. And of course, a picture book where textual and visual elements are arranged on individual pages compounded to make a hardbound material. That is paper-based. That is paper-based. A picture book where textual and visual material elements are arranged on individual pages compounded to make a hardbound material. Paper-based. All right. A live ballet performance where gestures, music, and space are among the main elements. Right. So next is a live ballet performance where gestures, music, and space are among the main elements. Diba? So paulit-ulit lang. So tinitingnan dito kung ano ba yung mga differences ng ating multimodal texts. So this is live. So kanina, paper-based then ngayon is live. So, identify naman natin, di ho ba? Okay, a web page combines elements such as sound effects, the audio clips and recordings, written language, music, and still or moving images to make a cohesive source of information. So, this is a web page. Okay, under the web page, okay, a web page combines elements such as sound, the effects, the audio clips, the recordings, the written language, the music, the steel, or moving images, or to make a case information source. What is this? Diba kanina? We answered the paper-based and we have also live. Ano paper-based? Printed, diba? Ano itong live? Live performance. And the last is digital. So this is digital. Okay? We all know all of this, di ba kanina? Inintroduce ko sa inyo yung mga differences. So, we have modes in communication, right? So, these are modes of communication. And we knew this, no, in our, our communication subject, even in, okay, in the previous English uh, subjects. We have linguistic, we have visual, we have audio, we have gestural, and we have spatial. For linguistic, this comprises aspects such as vocabulary, generic or the generic structure and grammar so that would be linguistic how about visual so makikita natin no aspects of color aspects of vectors aspects of viewpoints in steel and moving images so those are visual all right so that would be for audio from the word itself that would be a volume that would be a sound that would be pitch that would be a rhythm so anything that is audio Next is this gestural. It comprises aspects such as the movements, the speed, the stillness of facial expression and body language. So, kanina, di ba, the answer, I consider it gestural kasi yung mas natin, it's more on the facial expression. 
and it falls through the gestural part of our facial expression and our body language. And for spatial and compressed aspects of proximity, the direction, the position of layout or the organization of objects in a medium or space. So if we're talking about spatial, it is more on the space. It's more on direction. It's more position. So on that reorganization of objects in a medium or space. So that would be under the spatial. Okay. And of course, now we're in the challenge number three. I do hope you're now ready to do with the challenge number three, students. We're done with challenge number one. Here we go. We call this challenge as match it well. Match it well. Now, let's proceed. Okay, match the given picture to the mode it represents. Lagyan natin ang number, tsaka yung capital letter of the correct answer based on the picture, based on the photo, then there you go, your answer. Since it's matching. Okay, so match the given picture to mode to the mode it represents. What it represents for number one? What it represents for number two? Tingnan natin. Sige daw ba, Kurzea, Jane, Leo. Hi! Ano mga answer natin? Okay, and all other audience and viewers, learners this time. Answer number one. Is it letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D, letter E? Number one and two. Sige, tingnan natin. What is your number one? Linguistic, visual, is it audio, is it gestural, is it spatial? Okay, according to AJ Fabian, it's letter B, mm, visual. And also Joshua Tubig, letter B. All right, most of you answered letter B. What about number two? Tinan natin number two. <laughs> Sige ha. So again, screenshot na muna tayo. A, linguistic, B, visual, letter C, audio, letter D, gestural, letter D, spatial. Yan. And of course, for number one, the correct answer is you will have your badge that is visual. Yay! You answered it right. Congratulations, students. What about number two? This is, what about that number two? <laughs> letter C. Tingnan natin. Okay, letter C. Audio. Yahoo! Okay, it talks about audio, the volume, the... the E. How about this one? Number three is it letter? Okay. Well, how about number four? Is it letter? Okay. Tignan natin ha. So go. What is your answer for number three and number four? So thank you, thank you so much. All right. Sige. Okay. What is number three? Okay. Sige. All right, for number three, tingnan natin. So, hmm, write your answer. All right, sige. It's letter D, gestural for number three. Yes, kuha ni AJ Fabian. What about number four? All right. Okay, thank you so much. What about number four? You match the given picture to the mode it represents. Tingnan natin. So, ano bang, okay, hindi pa na-answeran, okay? Okay, letter A, linguistic, tree of knowledge. Then, tingnan natin, di ba? It's all about language, okay? Okay, makita natin sa object. And for number five, this is, ano na lang ang hindi natin uh, na-answer, Okay, no other answer for this. This is for number five. It talks about the space. It talks about it talks about the direction. Okay, that would be for number five. Number five, it's letter A. Nakuha ni Rainier. <laughs> Spasha. Nakuha din ni Maria Janelle. Hi, Jersey. How are you, Jersey? I miss you, baby. And we have also from Santa Lucia National High School, Jerson Manansala. Ayan, nakuha ninyo lahat yung ating number five. It's letter E. Spasha. Okay, there you go. 
to lahat yung ating badges and you have you have your ano uh, ito uh, mga badges for English 10 learning adventure for being a challenge passer and tokens okay okay lahat lahat nakakuha kayo ng ating mga tokens and badges congratulations everyone for a job well done continue lang natin yan ha mga bata I do hope no you've learned a lot about this topic and about multimodal text in a combination that there are two or more modes such as written language, the spoken language, the visual still, and moving images, the audio, the gestural, and spatial modes. Hindi natin makalimutan yan. And we have uh, the live, the printed, or digital media. These are all considered as multimodal texts. And we have types of modern model resources, the print, the live, and the digital. Okay, for exercises or exercise. At home, no, you're using your uh, ano ito, mojos. You transcribe the given emojis or pictures in the plain text, into the plain text. Kung nakikita ninyo, meron yung plain text dyan. And then based on that, you will make it in a thorough Okay, in a plain text na wala na mga objects, wala na mga emojis, wala ng pictures, so tuloy-tuloy na. Then based kanina sa ating mga answers, I know you are good in that. Very good and excellent in interpreting and analyzing uh, emojis, pictures, and whatsoever symbols. Alright, so you transcribe it, class, ha? Then, there you go. You, I mean, the screenshot or your... You have this in your module naman. Okay? So that would be for your enhancement exercise. So for our references, these are references for our topic today. Thank you so much. And for our ito like feedback, so there you go. We have this. Okay? Detainural.com, ito like feedback.com. All right? So our codes. So we are very pleased not to have you in our feedback. So pwede kayo magbigay ng feedback para sa amin. Okay? And thank you so much for watch, watching and viewing this time, students, parents, guardians, and my good teachers, no? They're in our different schools in the Philippines and all over the globe. I'm your tutor, Jess, from SDO Otagum City Division. Okay, and of course, uh, don't forget to continue viewing and a little learning with English then with our English Junior High School with Tutor Maid, the program head, Sevilla, Tutor May Sevilla, and uh, Tutor Judai for this subject, or the mentor, and also mentor, also we have Tutor Ram. So, uh, Pantabayanan po natin sa kanilang pagbabalik. Thank you so much, and... Uh, Learn more about English and be fun in learning English. And congratulations, everyone, for viewing this time. And I'm so blessed to have you in my class. So see you on Tuesday, all right? See you on Tuesday for English 10. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Mabuhay po tayo and God bless you all. Stay tuned for our next tutor for our subject, Reading and Writing Skills for Grade 11. Still, I'm your tutor.